Good morning, homemakers. The joy of homemaking. God bless you. Happy Friday. Glory to God. I just feel so much joy in my heart because God woke me up today. Isn't that amazing? And I just love this Bible verse. I have this one hanging in my living room. And just for those who are wondering, you can get this wall decor at Hobby Lobby. And so it's Matthew 6, 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Now, some of you are probably wondering, what's the daily bread? It's the word of God, right? How does the word of God make you feel? I can think of one big thing, how it makes me feel. The word of God makes me feel convicted. Oh, yes, it does. That is so true. And you know, when you have conviction from the word of God, that's actually a good thing. It's when you're not coming under conviction, that's really, really bad. You know, you don't want to have a seared conscience. You don't want to have a heart, heart towards God because his word brings us correction. It's for reproof. You know, God uh, has put in his word so many things for us to protect us, to guide us so we can have a life and have life more abundantly. That is what Jesus is all about. Jesus is all about life and having life more abundantly. Remember to study the scriptures each day. I just love to motivate women to keep going in the word. It's important to have that fellowship time. It's important to have that couple time. It's important to have that family devotional Bible study prayer time as well. But there's nothing like having that alone time with God. You know, we have such busy, busy lives as moms. You know, we can get caught up into doing so many things, you know. And that's just a part of this life. But remember, I just want to motivate you to seek the Lord, give him your first fruits. It's nothing like starting the day off in God's word. It really sets the tone for the day. God's word brings me a lot of joy. It really does. So much comfort, so much peace. His word brings healing. His word brings restoration because we need it every single day. Every single day we need to find encouragement in the Lord, not ourselves. And remember what it says in Psalms 112.7. She confidently trusts the Lord to take care of her. Yes, we have a good father. We have a God that loves us, that has that wants a future for us, a future that is good, not a future that's bad and hopeless. No, that's not the God we serve. You know, over the years, I've learned to really trust God and his timing. Even now, I've been saved since 2013. But, you know, God continues to build us up individually. And I'm still learning to trust his will. And it just brings a lot of peace. You know, when you just say, Lord, I'll give it to you. I trust your timing because his timing is always better. I know many of you guys can testify to that. And remember what Psalms 28, 7 says, the Lord, he is our strength and he is our shield. Remember to rise up and pray. Luke 22, 46 reminds us of that. Just remember to pray about everything. Thank you.